Hi everyone, this video ends up being about the square root of 5, but it starts off as a continuation to a video we recently posted on the main number file channel. So you might want to make sure you've watched that video before this one, because it makes more sense that way. I've put links on the screen, in the description, all the usual places. Okay, there's one other very nice interesting thing that I came across when I was playing around with this little equation that gives the Lucas numbers. Here we go! Uh, yet another number file video that involves someone writing out the Fibonacci numbers. And then I'm gonna run out the three, the Lucas numbers. Four, five, six, seven. You know, I've never bothered memorizing these. I have to do it from scratch every single time. Now, what I have showed before is that any Lucas number n equals the golden ratio to that power rounded to the nearest whole number. And you think, wouldn't it be nice if we had that for the Fibonacci numbers as well? And so you think, well, let, let's, let's, let's just work out what it is. And you can work out what it is. And it comes down to the ratio between the Fibonacci numbers and the Lucas numbers. So you're going to do Lucas numbers divided by the Fibonacci numbers. And so uh, 1 divided by 1 is 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is not a great ratio so far. Hopefully it'll start to settle down. 7 divided by 3 is 2.333, so on, so on, so on, so on. 11 divided by 5 is 2.2 .2 exactly. 18 divided by 8 is 2.25. Can you see what it is yet? You can see we're narrowing in on something. 3, 9 divided by 13 is 2.23076, blah, 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 blah. 47 divided by 21 is 2.238095 and some stuff. Okay, so you can see we are starting to hone in on this number. And ultimately we end up at, for Fibonacci n, Lucas number n, we get the value 2.23606. And, and plenty more. Do you recognize it? No one will. No. You know, no idea, right? No idea. And this, I think, is a little bit upsetting. No one ever recognizes this number. Lovely, lovely number. That number is the square root of 5. There it is. So the ratio between the Lucas numbers and the Fibonacci numbers is root 5. And it turns out that's all you need to uh, uh, fine tune this to give you the Fibonacci numbers. It is just the golden ratio n divided by root 5. And that's it. There you are. And so this is the formula which would generate all the Fibonacci numbers using the golden ratio and rounding, just like that's the one I was using for the Lucas numbers. But you know what? Lucas numbers, Fibonacci numbers, we've met them before. Brady numbers, we've met those before. Let's really mix it up with a new sequence. Do you just want to give me two single digit numbers which we can then use to generate a new one of these sequences? What would you like? Eight and three. Eight and three, good choice. So this one starts eight, three, and then 11, 14, 25. These haven't got a name, they're not exciting enough for one. 39. These are our new arbitrary, arbitrary sequence, right? And so I'm going to call them, the, the, these are the arbitrary numbers. And so there they are, and they run all the way down. So now, the question is, what is the equivalent, is there one of these for this? And if so, what is it? And it turns out there is, yeah. I mean, don't put it in the video, right? But this is the behind the scenes cheating because... I won't show that you did this. While I, thank you. Well, I have got the answer. Uh, Wolfram Alpha is a lot quicker than me at simplifying. It's computing. Wow. Still can there say computing? Yeah, a little bit of crunching. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put that over here and I'm going to write that like I just worked that in my head. So okay, if well, you, yeah. you don't shoot that, no one, no one will even know. No, ah, be, let's do it, let's do it. The arbitrary numbers equal rounded to the nearest whole number 21 divided by 2 times root 5 minus 5 on 2, all in brackets, times the golden ratio uh, to whatever the n is. Boom. Not quite as clean as... Yeah, um, now that you've just brought that up, not quite as clean. People can check that, it'll be kind of fun. So for any one of these, so if you put in n equals 4 and round it, you get 14 out the other side. In fact, I had so much fun, I worked out for the Brady numbers, b to the n, oh, I love you. equals nearest... I'd love it if it was something perfect, like the square root of 10. Sadly, it's, 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 it's not... Not, it's not, just a perfect number. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's just One. six. Who knew? Um, so uh, it equals. I, I, can, I can do this quite right. Actually, it's quite nice. It's just the golden ratio to whatever the n is times 9,765 plus 2,663 times root 
5 divided by 10. There you go. Oh. Hang on. That, that's my birthday. Yeah, I that again. <laughs> there you go, see? No, it's not. <laughs> we can dream. There you go. So that's, there's the Brady number formula. And actually, so I worked it out in, in general terms. If we had the generalized sequence, which starts A, second one's B, and then it's A plus B, and then it's A plus 2B, and then it's uh, 2A plus, I'm gonna stop here before people start shouting Fibonacci again, right? If that carries on, that sequence is uh, generated by the generalized numbers equals uh, rounded uh, golden ratio to the end, that's always there, times three times root five minus five outside A plus five minus root five outside B divided by 10. So all I did was put the Brady numbers in there and, and simplify. So that, that's the generalized version. Any Fibonacci-esque sequence, you put the first term there, second term there, and this is your golden ratio round it formula. This is interesting. This is interesting. All right. Inter if I say this is interesting enough times, it will be. I, the reason I think this is kind of fun is, oh, well, first of all, I found this, which is nice. I have no doubt someone may have done this before. It feels a bit obvious. And if they've done it, there's loads of way to represent. I, that was my favorite way to rearrange it, right? So I had some fun finding this. Um, but more than that is root five keeps appearing. Root five is in the generalized form. It's in the Brady numbers. It was in the arbitrary numbers, right? Root five is everywhere. And that's because the golden ratio is root five. Well, it doesn't equal root five, but it is root five in that it's, it's just root five dressed up in a fancier way, right? I think root five doesn't get the credit it deserves, right? But it's not a very public facing number. So the golden ratio is what you get if you took root five to like a PR company and got like a market you know, research group to go, look, we got this root five thing, no one's buying it, what can we do? And they went, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna dress it up. And the golden ratio is like the marketable version of root five. And so that's why, and it, it isn't, so everyone goes golden ratio. I, I always think it's, it's root, I can't draw a five. It's root five plus one on two. That is the worst five I've ever delivered. And so that's it, it's root five plus one on two, golden ratio. So it's just, it's a slight fudging of the goal of, of root five just to make it more palatable um, for the general public. Yeah, it's like root five is like one of those behind the scenes power brokers. Yeah, yeah, root five doesn't want to be the face of the organization, right? It's like the ghost writer for uh, the golden ratio. Root five's doing the hard work and uh, golden ratio is just like the, the polished, you know. Yeah, spokesman. Yeah, 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 yeah the refined persona of Route 5. Thanks for watching people. If you'd like to support Number File further, you can actually follow us on Patreon. There's a link on the screen and in the description. And I've also put some stuff in the description about Matt Parker and what he's up to at the moment. Negative. If I'd used equals one minus root five over two, then that equals negative zero point. So actually the obvious question, which has turned up in lots of situations and maybe in other videos from me, is, is there one that's the most irrational?